Welcome back, everybody. We're here to pull cards for December the 24th, Christmas Eve. Happy Christmas Eve to all. And so we're going to be pulling one card as usual for overall energy, and after that, one card for each sign, and we'll see how those energies meld together to give us the most information possible. For each sign, we had the world card try to flip out. That just talks about the idea that we are accomplishing some type of goals that's going to be in the overall energy, and this is some type of goal that we are wanting to accomplish, so we like that. We're starting off with a very positive note. Whoop, whoop. All right, let's look at our overall energy for today. Oh, wow, we've got the owl. Eight of cups. Eight of cups, eight of cups. Let's try to get out of the glare. If we can. All right, so Eight of Cups talks about walking away from something that makes us feel depleted or exhausted. For some of us, this may be that we are walking away from working <laughs> for the day. Maybe we are walking away from working later on in the day. Either way, something that makes us feel depleted or exhausted, we're walking away from. We're setting new priorities. We're prioritizing on those things that make us feel better. I like that card, actually, for an overall energy. Now, let's look at each sign, starting with Aries, of course. So Aries, what we have showing up for you is the Hanged Man in reverse. Hanged Man in reverse just says you've kind of been uh, biding your time, waiting, waiting, waiting to have that chance to walk away from something that is making you feel depleted or exhausted, and now you are done with biding your time. You are breaking loose from whatever that was. So, good card for you. Yes, yes, we like it. Taurus. Moon card showing up in reverse. boop a doo 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 boop a doo doo Taurus, the moon card in reverse talks about this idea of some kind of truth coming out. And this is a truth that's coming out in a situation that used to be um, something that felt... Um, it was a situation where you knew that there was some information missing, but you just didn't know what information that was. So with this coming out here, this just says that you are definitely at a point now where you are understanding the information that was missing, and it's changing your mind about what you want to be doing in this situation or where you want to be with the situation. And so with this card, this basically says that there is some kind of truth that comes out today that actually helps you to feel more justified in walking away from something that's made you feel exhausted or depleted. You may be understanding now a little bit more about why you're feeling exhausted or depleted by this, and it is helping you with this idea of walking away. So the truth always sets us free. All right, so interesting energy for Christmas Eve. Let's look at, who was that, Taurus? Next we're looking at... Gemini. Gemini, nine of pentacles, coming up in reverse. Do, 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 do. So nine of pentacles in reverse talks to me about um, missing somebody or not having enough resources, or maybe we have enough, but we're wishing we had more for sure. Okay? So Gemini's, this talks about um, letting go of the idea of missing somebody could be. Usually that's not easy to do just in a day. Um, I feel like this is more to do with the idea of resources. I think you're making up your mind today that you are tired of wishing that you had more resources and you're going to be doing something about that. All right. We are getting close to those New Year's resolutions. That could be what's happening there. Um, let's see. Cancer. Boop -a -doo -doo. Strength card coming up here. Cancers, I think that you are coming into a situation where you have enough self-esteem today to walk away from something that has made you feel depleted or exhausted, where maybe your self-esteem level before kind of kept you there. It's not keeping you there today. Self-esteem is coming up, and you're not putting up with depletion or exhaustion anymore. All right, next up we're looking at Leo. Okay, Leo's Hermit card. This is... Uh, 
Leos, I think that you're walking away from something that's made you feel depleted or exhausted to spend some time by yourself. Spending some time by yourself on Christmas Eve, thinking some things through, you know, setting your priorities, figuring out what's important to you. And then, you know, preparing to be around people after that. But for right now, figuring out what your priorities are. Where is it worth it to spend your time? Isn't that interesting that you got two owls showing up, Leo? Next up, we're looking at Virgo. I want to go back to Leo. Uh, this just tells me, with two owls, this tells me that you're being really wise in your decision today. Okay, now let's move on to Virgo. Four of Wands. Virgo, some of you are going to be um, walking away from home or family responsibilities that seem like they're depleting or exhausting. So this may be, you know, I'm not doing Christmas dinner this year. We're going to somebody else's house to do that, to have Christmas dinner. Somebody else is putting that meal together. Could be what we see here, or Christmas Eve dinner. But something is going on where you're walking away from something that made you feel depleted or exhausted, and it has to do with home or with family with that Four of Wands, or maybe tribe, but probably home or family, at least for most of you. Who is that? That's Leo, that's Virgo. Next up, we're looking at Libra. Queen of Pentacles, showing up for Libra. Boop -a -doo 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 -doo. Libras, I think that um, you have somebody around you who is very well grounded and is somebody who is very aware of uh, quality of things, whether that's the quality of how they look, how they feel, how they taste, how they smell. And I think that you are, um, you know, taking some time to get away from them. You may even just be taking a walk. It doesn't have to be like, you know, oh, I never want to talk to you again type of thing. But taking a break away from them, and it may be because they have some very strong ideas about how they want things to be. And um, it could be a little bit difficult to um, collaborate with this person because of those strong ideas. So uh, sometimes better to just take a walk, get some fresh air, <laughs> come back in and, you know, play the game, I guess. All right, so let's see. Boop -a -doo 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 -doo. There's three. That was Libra then. So now we have Scorpio. Scorpio, full card showing up in reverse. This talks about the idea of walking away from something that makes us feel depleted or exhausted. With the full card, it means that we've done this before. Like we've already walked away from it. This isn't new news today. But we are continuing on that journey of walking away from the depleted or exhausted. You know, so there may be some kind of Christmas tradition or Christmas Eve tradition, maybe I should say, that we've walked away from in the past, and we're totally fine with that today. <laughs> we're not trying to reincorporate it. We are keeping things the way they have been. Okay. Maybe uh, we had to walk away from the idea of spending uh, Christmas Eve with certain family members. This just talks about we're continuing on with that. Whatever that, whatever that is, there's something that it feels better to us to stay away from whatever that thing is that we used to do. So we're going to be doing that. All right, so that's Scorpios. Next up, let's look at Sagittarius. Okay, Sagittarius, High Priestess showing up here. Bloop a dee doo 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 doo. Sagittarius. I think that your intuition is really telling you that it's a good time to walk away from something that's leaving you um, exhausted or depleted. You may not know exactly all the ifs, ands, and buts around this situation. I don't think that you do, um, but your intuition is giving you a pretty strong hit that, you know, maybe I don't want to be around that. And some of you may have more than your intuition telling you. Some of you may have friends telling you too, you know, and it could be a friend's intuition 
for a few of you. I'm just seeing that bird in the high priestess's hand there, you know. A little birdie told me, you know, this can be friends kind of tipping us off about something. That could be too. So I'm going to say for a lot of us, it is our intuition. For others of us, it's other people uh, basically giving us some information that helps us recognize, okay, time to walk away from this unrewarding situation, shall we say. boop a doo doo Capricorn. Hierophant showing up here. Card of another earth sign. Capricorns, I see you walking away from some type of commitment. Some type of long-term commitment even today. So this could be a long-standing tradition that you normally do or maybe a long-standing tradition that other people normally do. And you could be saying, you know what, not for me. Maybe everybody always goes to Aunt Matilda's house for a Christmas Eve dinner and you're just like, yeah, I'll pass. You know, maybe everybody goes driving around and looking at Christmas lights and you're saying, no, I think I'll pass. But walking away from something that, you know, it does it hasn't really tripped your trigger for a while. And so walking away from that, even though it is something that everybody kind of expects you to do. All right, that's Capricorn. Next up, we're looking at Aquarius. Aquarius, Page of Pentacles showing up in reverse. What do we have here? Boop a doo doo doo. Boop a doo doo. Aquarius, I think that you've got um, some kind of news coming in about money or about resources that I don't think it's a surprise to you. I think it's kind of a repeat thing. I think this is somebody that, you know, maybe they owe you money and they just continuously say, well, I'll have to get you next week. Or, you know, maybe this is an employer that is saying, well, I, I'm, I'll get you a raise next quarter. You know, there's some type of, it feels to me like this is a repetitive message. This isn't the first time you've got this negative news about money or about material goods. And I think that, you know, you're just, I think this is kind of the frosting on top of the cake for you. I think you're walking away from this situation. So you're washing your hands of it. Uh, in other words, if this is a situation where you keep putting in energy and effort and the person keeps not paying you enough or not paying you or whatever, I don't think you're going to keep putting in energy or effort here. If this is a anymore, so you may be finding like a new job or a new gig or just, you know, not doing that. Um, and then for others of you, just hearing this again, <laughs> I think you're just deciding that, you know, yeah, it's really all the same. You're not going to be putting this person in a position to give you negative news about money or about material goods anymore. You're not going to be loaning them anything. You're not going to be work, doing any work for them. You know, you're just not going to put them in that position. All right, who was that? That was Aquarius. Next up, we're looking at Pisces. Okay, Pisces, Knight of Cups showing up in reverse. Do, 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 do. Hmm. Pisces, I feel like there's somebody in your sphere of influence who is kind of tearing down your self-esteem, you know, rather than building you up, encouraging you, uplifting you. They're kind of doing the opposite. And I think that you are minimizing any kind of time that you have to spend with them. You're just getting away from their energy as quickly as you possibly can today. You may be avoiding it completely if you can. All right. So that's what I've got for everybody today. Happy Christmas Eve. And I hope you all have a beautiful, beautiful day. Everyone, peace out.